In this video, I will discuss about commonly used IC based temperature sensors. These integrated circuit based temperature sensors are made from semiconductor material and uh, silicon is commonly used in semiconductor material. Many electronic components like diodes, transistors, microcontrollers, microprocessors, displays will be damaged when exposed to high temperature. So in these uh, electronic uh, components, so the leakage current is produced and uh, this leakage current doubles for every 10 degree raise in uh, temperature and increase in uh, leakage current will, uh, will again increase the temperature and this is continuous process and this is known as thermal runaway and this thermal runaway is one of the uh, causes of failures of electronic component due to the high temperatures. Semiconductor devices, LCDs, and uh, are the commonly uh, are the common examples that uh, that can be damaged by these temperature uh, extremes. If you see in your personal computer, a fan is uh, will be there for cooling the heat that is generated by the processor. This application simply requires this temperature data so that uh, this temperature effect on the process may be accounted for. If you see in this uh, PC, so this uh, fan is, is used for cooling your uh, the heat sink that is uh, cooling the processors. And whenever this uh, cooling is not sufficient and whenever the heat sink temperature is raised, then should be some mechanism for sensing that uh, uh, raise in temperature and it will shut down the processor. And examples, other examples, if you see the battery charges, because the charging of the batteries is uh, need to be temperature compensated, so temperature measurement is uh, important. And if you see similarly the crystal oscillator, as the crystal frequency varies with the temperature, there also the temperature compensation is required. And LCD is also the contrast is temperature dependent, there also the compensation is required. And in uh, cold uh, junction composition of the thermocouple, so the cold junction temperature need to be measured and it should be compensated. In here we can see this is uh, the cold junction temperature which is measured by using this IC based sensor and then it is uh, compensated and the heat sink of the heat sink temperature measurement. So the heat sink is used for um, heat dissipating the heat of uh, the semiconductor materials like transistors or MOSFETs and this uh, some, ap some applications this uh, temperature need to be monitored in that applications also this IC temperature sensors are used. And other applications if you see in this uh, microprocessor thermal management which we have seen uh, for cooling the heat sink that is uh, the heat uh, that is uh, it dissipates uh, by the microprocessor like intel uh, other microprocessors and then industrial systems and in consumer products so day to day um, you are using refrigerators there also the temperature need to be displayed in that applications also so this uh, ic based temperature sensors are used and digital thermometers which we use it uh, for uh, sensing this body temperature there also we can uh, see this uh, display of this temperature by using is done by using this IC based temperature sensor and then for fan control HVAC that is uh, heating ventilation and air conditioning systems also this uh, temperature sensor used where the um, air handling unit out, uh, outlet air is to be air uh, temperature is measured by using this uh, IC sensors and over temperature production where uh, it is required so this IC based temperature sensors are commonly used so why use IC sensors? So this is having some advantage. So it will provide the output as a voltage or current that is proportional to temperature without any additional circuit. If you see any thermocouple or uh, RTDs or thermistor, it requires some uh, v strong bridge or some compensation circuitry for providing uh, the actual output. Whereas if you see this IC sensors, which are uh, semiconductor based, uh, silicon semiconductor based sensors, the manufacturer itself will provide all the necessary circuitry to provide the voltage that is directly proportional to your temperature and there are um, analog and digital also in digital sensor uh, these uh, temperature is provided in the form of uh, digital bits which avoids the external use of uh, ADCs and this also does not require any linearization or other circuitry as required in other couples and other temperature sensors and cost also is very reasonable.
so but the disadvantages are this is having very narrow temperature range we can use from minus 55 to 150 this is one of the major disadvantage and also interchangeability is also a problem so if one ic is uh, damaged you cannot uh, use directly the other side because there is some factors that change with the ic to ic and then wide variation in accuracy between different models and the small packages will be a disadvantage in uh, some uh, immersion design applications where this cannot uh, withstand the rugged atmosphere these are the uh, comparison of uh, different temperature sensors each one is having uh, an advantage and disadvantage if we see in our case this ic sensor it is uh, having advantage of linearity and uh, higher output there is no need of any uh, external uh, um, circuit or signal conditioning circuit and it is also inexpensive and disadvantage is which is a limited temperature is less than 200 and power supply external power supply is required and it is uh, response is slow and it is having self heating problem uh, and also is in limited configurations these are the, some of the disadvantages of this ic sensor the commonly used ic temperature sensor that is integrated uh, circuit temperature sensors with the different outputs if you see lm35 which gives the voltage output and lm56 which gives a uh, dual output the mustard and ad590 which gives current output and DS18S20 which gives digital output and DHT22 digital is also digital output sensor. These are the comma some of the frequently used uh, sensors. There are uh, so many other uh, sensors which I am not uh, going to discuss. These five sensors I will uh, discuss in detail. This is LM35 which gives uh, this is a sensor. This is a three terminal sensor which um, directly gives the voltage output and this voltage uh, is uh, it will increase 10 millivolts per every degree uh, centigrade range in the temperature and this range is minus 55 to 150 and it requires adc for interfacing to microcontroller or a microprocessor as it gives the voltage output so this need to be converted to digital data by using adc and some microprocessor microcontroller are having inbuilt adcs there we can connect directly to the microprocessor or microcontroller so this is um, an Arduino uh, you know board which is having an internal uh, ADC so this LM35 output can be directly connected to this Arduino board which accepts analog input and then it can be uh, displayed on the LCD display. This is LM36 dual output thermostat which can be used in some uh, production applications. It is having two thermal uh, uh, stable trip points uh, it is VT1 and uh, uh, VT2 and this VT1 and VT2 are uh, generated uh, by dividing the 1.25 volt reference of this IC using three resistors and it is having two outputs output one which goes low when the temperature T1 exceeds uh, or goes high and sorry it goes low when the temperature exceeds T1 and it goes high when the temperature goes uh, below T1 minus THTSS. THTSS is the default 5 degrees THTSS that is available in this IC. And output go output to goes low when temperature uh, exceeds T2. Is T2 is the defined temperature which can be determined by using uh, the three resistors uh, by dividing uh, the 1.25 volts. And goes high when the temperature goes below T2 minus THTSS. So this is the IC. So this is VT1 and VT2. So here we are establishing the reference voltages for this VT1 and VT2 by dividing using three resistors uh, from the V reference, and it gives V output uh, one and uh, output one and output two. Here you can see this is the actual temperature voltage, which is sensed by internal temperature sensor, and this output uh, two goes uh, low. So whenever uh, this uh, temperature exceeds the VT2, that is uh, this value and it again goes back to high state whenever the voltage uh, goes below the VT2 minus uh, VHTSS and similarly the output uh, one goes from normally that is high state to low state whenever this temperature exceeds this VT1 voltage and it goes and again it goes back to high state whenever uh, this uh, EMF or voltage that is generated because of this temperature goes below the VT1 minus uh, HTTS voltage. This is uh, one application that controls the that this IC controls the cooling fan. So here this output uh, one will goes uh, low whenever uh, the temperature exceeds when it ever it goes low this is a pnp transistor it is switched on so and this 5 volts is fed to the gate of this uh, n channel mosfet and this is switched on and this fan is uh, turned on and this is 8590 which gives a current output uh, 
and this is a two terminal IC temperature sensor and gives the, the current in the form of one micro micro ampere per Kelvin so per every increase of one Kelvin so this IC will give one micro ampere this is the circuit we can see this uh, this um, the resistor it is one of the application this, so this is the two terminal this is one terminal this is other terminal so the um, resistor can be placed in series so this current can be converted to voltage and this is the interface to an ADC or to a microprocessor or microcontroller and this is having a temperature range of minus 155 to minus 55 to 150 degrees centigrade and DS 18s20 which is an uh, one wire uh, interface uh, sensor so which uh, communicates the data in by using only the one wire and it is uh, supports one wire uh, protocol this is the three terminals one is uh, digital output and other one is uh, power supply and the ground no external components are required and it is some if um, it can also be powered from this digital line in that mode it is known as parasite uh, power mode which requires only two pins no power pin is required and this is powered uh, from the uh, bus whenever this uh, bus goes high so there is a capacitor which will be charged and it powers this uh, sensor and each uh, DS8S20 has unique 64 bit uh, serial code so each, each is having a specific address so which allows multiple uh, DS18S20 uh, to be connected in uh, parallel and it can be um, used for sensing uh, the temperature in multiple locations so if you take a building where in uh, temperature need to be sensed in multiple uh, rooms so this is the one of the best uh, sensor for user in that application here we can see all the sensors are connected uh, on the same bus as this uh, is having a specific address whenever this microcontroller is asking uh, this uh, sensor data only this will be respond and it will, it will be respond and similarly whenever this microcontroller is uh, asking uh, this uh, temperature data by using this address this sensor will respond another uh, common user data temperature and humidity sensor so this is the dht22 and 11 is also there so this in addition to temperature it will also gives uh, the uh, humidity so it uh, sends the data in the form of digital uh, signal and it uh, sends the five bytes and two bytes correspond to temperature two bytes correspond to humidity and one byte is correspond to the checksum and this is having a humidity range of 0 to 100 percent or h and it is having a temperature range of minus 40 to 80 degrees centigrade and this is also one of the commonly used temperature and humidity sensor for uh, um, uh, routine applications and this is interfacing uh, to the microcontroller this dht is you now be connected to the microcontroller by using a pull-up uh, resistor and this is the power supply and this is the ground it sends the two bytes of temperature data and two bytes of uh, the humidity data and one byte of the one byte of uh, the checksum and the microprocessor will uh, or microcontroller will read the data and it has to be uh, displayed or it can be stored for some uh, application thank you for watching my video